in. It's the 28th of June, 2024. Got Dodgy Dave in the background. Got bars flowing in from Cleethorpe's on the bed. Look at that bird go. Take some tips there, Dave. Woohoo! Woohoo! I did the right thing. I see. Today, David and Baz, we're going to talk about Nick Ferrari. Do you know him? No. No? But first, what about Taylor Swift? Have you heard of her? Anybody? Yeah. Yes. Like yes. Well, she, what she's done, every concert she's played at, and she played at, in Liverpool the other day, she donated enough, enough money to cover food bills for an entire year across 11 food banks and eight community uh, pantries in Liverpool. She done that in every city she's played, so hats off to her. The junior doctors, it's day two of their strike, hats off to them. Nick Ferrari, he's a Tory, bit of poetry there. Uh, what he is, I'll put my glasses on. He's a conservative radio and TV presenter and he's currently hosting a show on LBC, studying for uh, James O'Brien yesterday. And he writes for uh, Sunday uh, Express and all. And he's a multimillionaire Tory. And he's a Brexiteer. And he went to private school. Both his children went to private school. His grandchildren are going to go to private school. Uh, but Labour, if they're getting to put in VAT on private school fees, and uh, that'll cost him a few quid. Even though he can well afford to pay, he doesn't want a Labour government. The last thing he wants, saying we aren't money men, they'll still vote Tory, because they're fucking selfish. Yesterday we were hosting James O'Brien's show, and this kid called uh, Philip phoned in. I to listen to this in your kitchen refitted, yeah? Yes. The bloke's been in there. He's a little fella with trousers that are too short. Right. He's been in there. He's been in there for eight months fitting your kitchen. Yes. You come home from work today. He's up to his knees in water. There's still holes in the plasterboard. None of the cabinets are done. There's doors falling off. Yes. And you say, mate, you've had four months to do this kitchen. Yep. And he says, no, no, don't get another bloke to do it. Because I can do a better job, or I'll, I'll be back in the morning. All but, right, Gov. But that bloke, That's... unfortunately, had a terrible pandemic. He was very, very ill for a while. Uh, and also, his his uh, business uh, suffered quite a, a cash shortage uh, with and problems exactly, across the economy. Exactly, because nothing... And his best mate's no, off fighting a war. He will tell you, Nick. Nick, he will tell you that everything down to your kitchen not being finished is nothing to do with him. It's not his fault. Is the van broke down? The stuff weren't delivered. He's got a bad <laughs> knee. That is the Conservative government. They will blame everyone else. Nothing is their fault. Is it going to be better with Kia Kitchens? Who cares? Who cares? Well, I Nick, care. I don't want another. Will... I mean, I've gone through hell with this kitchen. I don't want okay, more dodgy. So Nick, so Nick, you just keep plugging away with Rushi. And no, I'm not your saying that. The wall. No, I, can you tell me that my kitchen will be fitted with Kia's Kitchens? There will come a time where you say, oh, I've got to get someone else in, Nick. Right. You know that. You've probably had builders and carpenters and painters and stuff in I your have. house. Yeah, of course And I when have. someone keeps doing a bad job, yeah. there comes a time where you say, look, mate, I'm enough sorry. Pack your tools up. I'm going to go through the yellow pages what and get someone that, in. Uh, what a call of Phil where he could be doing a... We could do a Philip as an MP or a radio presenter because... Uh, he squared Ferrari up and he got no comeback from that. Uh, of course, poor old Nick, we know comeback from that. He could always switch to reform. Uh, he could get reform, this is it. He could always get reforming to get to uh, finish the kitchen. They'll knock, it, knock down the whole house just so the kitchen looks great in the rubble. I'll be back in the morning, putting my boot into reform. Wakey, wakey! Thank you, David. <laughs>